Augustine says, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. Pirla Public School Pillani creates abundant opportunities for its students to travel foreign lands to foster global competence and broaden their mental horizons. The very mention of the name Russia evokes the image of an intriguingly beautiful country, a land of superlatives. 45 students of BPS visited St. Petersburg and Moscow, two of the most picturesque cities in the world. The first place visited by our globe totters was the Phi Doon Dazzler, savior on the spilled blood, the fourth largest cathedral in the world. Hermitage Museum, which is the second largest art museum in the world after the French lobby never fails to fascinate. Neva River cruise around St. Petersburg was the mega event of the tour. Beautiful historical buildings along both sides of the river presented a spectacular view. Visit to the Pitterhof Palace made the students marvel at engineering feat. Even the fountains function here entirely by the gravitational force. Moscow's Kermelin houses, five palaces and four cathedrals. What caught the fancy of our students inside were the gigantic Sar Canon and Sar Bell, the largest in the world. St. Basil's Cathedral, also known as Pekrovsky's Cathedral, built by Tsar Ivan, is an iconic cathedral and is said to be Moscow's most photographed site. Ever-ready cameras of our students also had their fill at this place. Visit to All Russian Exhibition Center was another highlight of the tour. This center showcases the achievements of Soviet Union in various fairs. People's Friendship Fountain had the ambience of a picnic spot. In Cosmonautic Museum, BPS explorers took keen interest in 85,000 items on space technology, astronomy, and space travel. Parched atop the Austin Kino television tower, one can't help feeling on the top of the world. It is the tallest freestanding building in the world. 1,771 feet tall. What an architectural wonder. Folk music show at the Golden Ring was simply mesmerizing. No one realizes how beautiful it is to travel until he comes home and rests his head on his old familiar pillow, says Ling Tang. We are sure our boys can't agree more 